I'm Izet Sneiman, and we're looking at question four presentations, which you do in PowerPoint. Very important before you even start doing the presentation. Remember now, it depends on whether they want you to start it from scratch or whether you're going to retrieve a file from your student share folder. When you open it, look to the last question, usually the last few questions. They say you need to change the design or you need to use one of these uh, templates. When they ask that, you can do that before you even start. Remember to choose a light colored one that you don't use too much ink. And also the type of design you are going to select will also um, influence the font types. Okay, but I'm just going to use a very simple light colored one. So you choose your design and then you click on create. Okay. There we start. All right. I can't go through everything. We do not have the time. Presentations, again, is very easy if you know what to do. Now, there are a few components in ODP Level 4 that they want you to do. The first one is the master slide. You need to make changes on the master slide, and then you need to make a screenshot of that. The second one is the actual presentation where you're going to add slides delete slides or import slides and then the most important thing about PowerPoint is how to print because if you select the wrong option you've got a lot of slides it's going to use a lot of paper all right so I want you to take you to the master slide before we get to the master slide the other thing they ask you is to do transitions and on the transitions you need to also make a screenshot of whatever it is that they want you to select. Um, there you're going to choose the sound, the duration, how to apply it. And there are the different transitions that you get. Okay, just so that you know where to change them and that it also um, needs you to do a screenshot. Okay. On the view button, you are going to go and click on the slide master button. Okay, if they do a footer here, you are going to type the footer here, whatever it is they ask. Here, you can get the slide numbers. And remember, make sure on the left that you are on number one, the top slide before you start making changes okay so this is where you are going to make the changes type the footer so yeah footer whatever it is and there's the slide number now what you can do if you are scared this is not going to print on your actual um, presentation is once you've done the master slide you've taken your screenshot which is control print screen which you are going to paste in Word, then you close the master view. Okay, what we can do then is to make sure everything that you did appears is to go to insert and then header and footer. And then here you select footer and there the footer appears. If they ask you it mustn't um, show on the title slide, you are going to select that box and then if they want the date or whatever, and here's the slide number, then you say apply to all. Then you know for sure everything that you've done on the master slide will definitely appear on all your other slides. Okay, so once you start with a presentation, which I'm not going to do everything, this is where you do a new slide. And we're going to select whatever title and content they want there. Say, for example, they want you to put in a table. That is where you select the little pictures and you put in the table. Let's just put in a third slide. Okay. So, for example, they want bullets over here. And then bullets, you will see it will make automatic bullets. All right. If they want you to insert a slide that they have given you, you're going to go to new slide. You go all the, down, the, all the way down to the bottom where it says reuse slides. And then here on the Browse button, you need to go and look for the slide in the Student Share folder. If, for example, you've saved the Student Share to um, 
the desktop, you must go look for it over there. So very important that you remember where you have saved. Okay, and that is where you will insert it. All right, when you print, this is the most important one. You go File, Print, and here where it says Print All Slides, just below that, you've, you've got the word Slides, which is a heading. And the first option is Print One Slide Per Page, which is not what we want because it wastes paper. So you need to click on that drop down so that the options can appear. Here you've got two slides or three slides. Say, for example, it's two slides, it will look like that. And then it will be two slides per page. And then only do you click on the print button. All right, that's it, folks. I hope you're going to do well in PowerPoint.